Oh, hi. Welcome to Maxed Out News. And on tonight's Maxed Out News is the MSI Z370 Gaming Carbon Pro Motherboard. Now, this is not going to be out until October the 5th, but as a reviewer, we seem to have got one a little bit earlier than normal. <coughs> this is the Coffee Lake motherboard and it does look pretty delightful. So we're going to be expressing our thoughts and talking about this MSI motherboard, Coffee Lake, codenamed by Intel, MSI Gaming Carbon by night. So let's get on with the news, shall we? So first item would be power delivery. And uh, checking by my notes here, all of our Z370 motherboards use an all-in digital PWM design to take full advantage of the six core CPU SKUs. Yes, that you got it right. The 8700K, which is gonna be a top platform CPU, will have six cores and also will have single core performance too. So Intel, you're doing okay, kid. You're doing all right. Moving on, we've added more phases to our boards to get the most out of CPUs for better overclocking and better stability. Now, I'll be the judge of that because when I get this Coffee Lake CPU, I'll be actually importing that into the actual motherboard and making sure that we get really good overclocking. Well done, Intel. Well done. Game boost. So, while not new, as it's worth pointing out, our auto overclocking profiles now go up to 5.4 gigahertz with the new CFL CPUs and i7 only. Since we'll have another i3K model from Intel and now a full quad core, we know many users will be waiting to take advantage of the new model. So we have the overclocking setting up to 4.7 gigahertz for the i3 model, excuse. So, two times RGB headers, introducing a rainbow. Now, rainbow is obviously different from what it used to be because, let's just get into the news. While all Z270s have RGB headers for external RGB cables, we now have a second RGB header called rainbow. This is different to existing headers because the rainbow header allows control individual LEDs on an RGB strip rather than only being able to control them all at once. Users can create a customized LED strip with multiple colors and patterns. Thumbs up right there. Corsair header. Did I tell you about Corsair? Corsair? Not Corsair, the Voxel Corsair or Voxel whatever name, but Corsair. Corsair have now teamed up with MSI to bring you the best of both worlds. So, moving on again. Making an introduction on our Z370 motherboards, since we've co-opted with Corsair a lot in the past with VJ and desktop products, we now integrate a dedicated free header for Corsair Link on our motherboards. That is another great idea. Another great idea. Moving on again. Updating the bus. Truth to be told, updating the bus on our motherboards is a bit of a chore, which I definitely have to agree. Having to go through different menus and rebooting to get to the BIOS M flash settings. For the Z370, we've changed how this works simply by pressing Ctrl plus F5 when in BIOS to update your BIOS there and then no more hassle. That is flipping genius. I absolutely love you, MSI. Great thinking, great thoughts come together, if you know what I mean. Okay. Anyway, that is the news. Let's get to the unboxing. <laughs> 